In the first part of this video, we're going to look into the shop. So if you just click on this, and we're going to look into what's actually in the shop and what you can buy. Um, there's you can buy cubes which give you different characters and other things. You can also spend real money on the game, which I haven't done, but it's there if you want to do it. Um, you buy DNA cubes and fragments to get new characters. Um, this can all be done quite easily through the shop and the menu. You can also get helix credits if you want to use them to speed things up, and also resources just for if you run out. Another thing that's useful in the game is to build a room or build different rooms in your um, base, in your HQ. You can get different upgrades for different rooms such as training rooms and the treasury to get more money and other stuff like that. So keep an eye out for them. Some of them it does take a while to get leveled up to unlock them. Also what we're going to have a look at here is the heroes menu which you can go into. It's the third one on the bottom menu. You can also look at different characters, their skills, stats and gear, and progression and everything and also just have a little look at your character, see what's going on and you can also from this menu find DNA fragments on different missions for that certain character you can go along and look at what characters have what gear and what level they are also you can look at what um, characters you need DNA fragments for such as the legendary characters and Ezio which I'll be trying to get at some point hopefully in this part we're going to be looking at objectives. Objectives are probably the main thing that you want to be keeping your eye on every day just because they give you so much experience in the game um, and the, the challenges that they give you is they're not really that hard and it gives you pretty good rewards at the end of it so if you were going to play it sort of every day um, I would recommend doing them. Also you have a load of achievements which you can go along throughout the game as long as you play it quite a bit you can unlock them fairly easily and you also get rewards for those and also DNA fragments for certain legendary characters depending on what tier you get to in the achievements. The next thing we're going to be looking at is the events tab, um, there's only this event at the moment which is the ancient Greece one, also you have animus challenges which last about a week or, or maybe a couple of days, um, but they give you quite good rewards and they, they're quite frequent, um, also you get the um, helix rift event which is on now for another 7 days or so. Um, which is pretty good. You get you can get a load of legendary characters out of it, um, and it's more missions and more experience for for your account. Um, the only thing with this, it does have a quite a large reward system, seeing as um, you get maybe a couple of thousand um, DNA fragments every so often, and as you can see, it goes up to like a hundred thousand, maybe more. Um, so you better keep going with that one. Now getting on to the main part of the game which is the missions or the map, um, if you look in here you have the whole map, there's five regions at the moment, they might add some um, later on but still it takes a little while to progress through all of them, I'm only on region 2 at the minute but then again um, it does take a little while for you to level up your characters and get data fragments from different cubes and stuff. But as you can see, um, every single mission has a three star rating. Um, you get rated on whether your one of your characters dies or not. So as you go through, you get more rewards. Up on the left hand side, there's a chart, and if you get so many stars, then you get more rewards and more, more experience from that as well, um, pushing you into the next region. The actual missions are pretty fun, you literally just, um, it's basically like just strategy, um, coming up with different percentages for um, the missions and stuff like that. Um, you assign certain classes to certain missions which are uh, recommended for that mission considering what you're going to be going against such as more enemies or traps or, or brute force killing enemies. Um, the ones that are like the best are the, are the stealthy ones, are the ones where you use the assassins because um, you can get past things and you can climb things and do all that sort of stuff. Also when you're going through it gives you a percentage chance of, of if you're going to succeed in that area um, such as killing enemies or climbing over things, jumping up and down, doing that sort of thing, hiding um, which is really good. Um, obviously different classes allow you to do different things within the mission and uh, that really helps 
uh, building up the characters and building up your level and completing all these missions. Every mission is obviously rated out of three stars. You also get a load of rewards for doing it as well. Um, these all build up in your inventory in the menus. And if you don't really feel like playing a mission again, you can always rush the mission once you've done it once. Um, you can choose a team, select a team, what I recommend you to have, and then put on rush, and then it will rush through it, and then you can complete the mission straight away and get the rewards for it straight away. Um, the only thing is, you won't be able to use your characters again for a little while because they'll be a little bit damaged, and you can always heal them inside the menu as well. As for an overall review of this game, I think it's pretty good. I'm up to a point now where I'm a bit stuck though because I need to get a lot of more of the data fragments to level up characters and do a lot more, replay a lot more missions to get certain XP for, for leveling up and stuff like that. So it all just depends on um, how much you play the game as well. Um, I'm going to open a cube here just to see if I can get anything good. I don't usually spend it, but I thought just for the video, I'll, I'll open one and see what I get. That's uh, not that great. Oh, well. um, but yeah, that's what that's what I'll be doing for the the next for the future of playing this game is just trying to get more data fragments, more people on my uh, squad, which are better. Um, and also going through all the missions because I'm only up to the seventh main mission at the minute, but it's still um, getting quite hard um, to progress through them because a lot of my characters are quite low level, so I have to go back and actually build them up and build the whole team up again. Um, obviously, you get different challenges every day, so it, it all helps with XP and stuff like that. But overall, for the minute, I've only been playing it for about a week, but. Uh, it's a really good game, I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's all sort of set in the Assassin's Creed universe, which I really like. Um, there's certain things which probably I would change, such as um, making the missions a little bit easier, um, the main missions, um, just so you can progress through the story a little better. Uh, just want to say thank you guys for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.